Terry Okita, WJZ Eyewitness News. WJZ investigator Mike Kelgren continues our complete coverage, breaking down just how vulnerable our area is to terror attacks. Mike. Vic, the terrorists in London did not use explosives or guns. Rather, they used items that were easily accessible and picked a high profile target. The latest ISIS inspired attack in London shows how terrorists can make a big impact on a small scale. This is using everyday items a van, a butcher's knife. Michael Greenberger directs the University of Maryland Center for Health and Homeland Security. And we're seeing this repeatedly, and the question is. Uh, are we letting these people slip through our grasp? The terrorists picked a crowded spot to inflict maximum damage. Still, it wasn't enough to discourage some Americans from traveling there. In all honesty, we have to have confidence in the security mechanisms that are in place. So, you know, like I say, you can't live in fear, you have to live your life. It could have happened anywhere. Maryland has long been on alert with the proximity to the nation's capital and home to major transportation hubs. Yes, Baltimore could be. Uh, a target, some place in Maryland could be a target, and the only thing we need to keep repeating to ourselves is people should be vigilant, and when you see something, say something. In the past decade, more than half a dozen Marylanders have faced terrorism-related charges. Howard County teen Muhammad Khalid had a full Johns Hopkins scholarship. He became the youngest person in the U.S. sentenced for a terrorist plot. Antonio Martinez tried to blow up the Catonsville Army Recruiting Center. Owings Mills high grad Majid Khan helped bomb an Indonesian hotel. And last year, a man who lived in Harford County was indicted for pledging allegiance to ISIS. When you look at uh, an array of what you were about homegrown terrorism is at the very top. Baltimore City Police are especially vigilant in areas where large numbers of people gather, like here at the Inner Harbor. They say they've discussed the London terror attack and are evaluating security. Live at the Inner Harbor, Mike Helgren, WJZ Eyewitness News. Mike, thank you. Stay with WJZ for the latest on the London terror attack. We will continue to bring you the updates on the investigation and the victims.